Hello everyone and welcome to Silky Smooth Shave. Today we're we'll using some product from the Executive Shaving Company in Glasgow, Scotland. We're we'll using their Braveheart razor here. It's got a stainless steel 303 handle on it. Chrome plated head on there. Very nice, nice weight to it. Nice knurling on the handle. You don't have to worry about dropping it when your hands are wet and your fingers. We'll be using their pre-shave oil, their Far Off Snog. And it says it's a fresh and mini all natural peppermint, grapefruit, and lavender scented shaving preparation wash. I've used it before, it's really nice stuff. And their Far Off Snog Aftershave Balm. And it says it's fresh and mini natural aftershave balm. One nice thing I like about these also is they got the twist lock on top of them. So that way you don't have to worry if it falls over inside your bag when you're traveling or anything. And I'll be using my Yaki 24mm Synthetic Mocha Express brush. This is one of my favorite brushes right here. And for the blade in the Braveheart today, I'll be using the Gillette 7 o'clock and the Black Package Super Platinum. It's like one of my favorite blades out of my top five. And for the bowl here, I got the Executive Shaving made by Steph Baxter Mixing Bowl. It's really nice. And it's got the nice rim on the top here so you don't have to worry about overflow on there. And for the shaving cream here, I've got the Far Off Snog Shaving Cream. And it says it's fresh and mini all natural shaving cream. And this is really good stuff. It's got pretty good slickness to it when you put it on. So, I'll go ahead and get my hair up and we'll get started with this shave. So how's everyone doing today? We've been getting off and on cold weather here where I live. I get really cold at night and warm during the day. Winter's getting ready to come. Oh, I already took a shower. I'm just damping my face up here. Go ahead and build our lather here. Get my brush wet. We'll create our lather. You can smell the mininess to it already. It's very nice. Building that lather up there. Bowl's got ridges in it, so it kind of helps create your ladder there for you. Now we're getting our ladder built now. Starting to come there. Looks good. Build up a nice ladder here. There you go. Alright, I'll go ahead and load the blade on this Braveheart razor. I've used this razor a few times. Slightly more aggressive than a Mercur 34C HD and an Edwin Jagger DE89. It's a really nice, clean, close shave. I'll go ahead and take the blade out of here. Install it into the Braveheart razor. Into the top plate here. I'll go ahead and take the straight bar here. And the handle. Put that together there. Go ahead and put this pre-shave oil on here. Oops, there we go. A couple squirts of that. Don't work that into your whiskers there. It smells nice. That's nice. All right, get my hands off here. Also forgot the weight on that Braveheart razor is 80 grams, and with the head it's 100 grams. The length is 84 millimeters, and the diameter is 12 millimeters. I'll go ahead and get this lather on her face. Very nice soap. We're actually shaving cream there. You feel the coolness on your skin, feels good. All 
All right. All right, let's go ahead and do our first pass with the Executive Shaving Company Braveheart Razor, the Gillette Super Platinum Blade installed. We'll do our first pass with the grain here. My stretcher skin. Very smooth, very efficient razor. Take your time, there's no need to rush. Very nice. Very nice slickness from the pre-shave. Very nice. This blade works well in here. My skin seems to do better with super platinum blades, I noticed. I get less irritation with them. I mean, everyone's skin is different. Nice. Knock them whiskers down. Yeah, it feels like we can get by with a two pass shave, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Three passes. Just because I like shaving. That brave heart's nice. Look at that. Very nice. No nicks or anything. Very nice cream here. We'll be going across the growth with the Braveheart Razor from the Executive Shaving Company with the Gillette 7 o'clock Super Platinum Blade installed. Very nice. Very efficient razor. Also gets under the nose very good. Very aggressive, not so aggressive, mild aggressive. Very efficient, very gentle on the skin.
very nice. All right. Go ahead and rinse here. Very nice. Few spots. And not bad. We'll go ahead and go with that third pass there. We'll go against the grain here. Last pass, go against the growth, the Executive Shaving Company's Braveheart Razor with the Gillette Super Platinum Blade installed. One of the things I forgot to mention also is on this Braveheart razor, there's no overhang of the blade. I got a bad habit in my Adam's apple area of nicking myself by overhang a lot. With this razor, you don't have to worry about that. Very nice post shave feel there. Very smooth. All right, go ahead and rinse here. That was an incredible shave there. There's one remarkable razor there. All right, we'll go ahead and put on this aftershave balm here, the far off snog. Put a couple pumps of that. Form that up in your hands. Wow, it just glides. That razor did a wonderful job. Very nice. Got a little tingle there, that mininess to it. Alright, we'll go ahead and recap everything we used here. I'd like to thank the Executive Shaving Company for offering such an awesome razor. We received a very good shave from that today. If you could like and subscribe my channel and leave a comment if you like, I'd greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and recap everything we used here today. From the Executive Shaving Company, their Farox Nog Shaving Cream. Their Farox Nog Pre-Shave Oil. In their Far Ox Nog Aftershave Balm. And their awesome razor, the Braveheart. Very nice, very nice stainless steel handle. Nice knurling on the grip there. You don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hand. No overhang. The blade we used today was the Gillette Super Platinum. Very nice blade, com good combination with that Braveheart razor. And from the Executive Shaving Company, this mixing bowl is made by Steph Baxter. It's very nice. As you can see, nothing overflowed on the ridges there. It's got the embankment on there. One of my favorite brushes, the Yaki 24 millimeter Mocha Express synthetic brush. 
Once again, I'd like to thank everyone and I really appreciate you watching me and spending your time with me learning how to shave. And if you have anything you would like to teach me or things that you see that I need to be doing in my videos, please let me know. Yeah, that manyness makes your eyes pad water. And I'd also like to thank the Executive Shaving Company. Till next time, appreciate everybody watching me and Silky Smooth is out.